What's going on guys and welcome back to another Vikings franchise gameplay. We are here in week number 8, getting ready to take on Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Taking a quick look here at the uh, lineup here, yep, Justin Jefferson is still star dev. Still have yet to get a development story for him. Uh, Vikings are coming off of a sim win technically last week against the Detroit Lions. Weren't able to match up with that user. I'm pretty sure he's trying to just tank, uh, as you saw his record earlier there. If you looked at the standings, he is 1-8 and eight on the season, so I'm pretty sure he's just going for a high draft pick. But yeah, last game that we actually played with this team was that Week 6 matchup against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers where we struggled. Um, we eventually got things going there, just unable, uh, just guys weren't able to make plays. We had the chance to what potentially tie the game up on that fourth uh, fourth down conversion. We tried to throw to Ty J. Sharp, he's just unable to come over with the catch. And what we ended up losing to the Buccaneers by 21 points again. So... Anyways, trying to bounce back. Uh, well, technically, we did bounce back, but actually try to play a game and bounce back. Get uh, get right back to winning with our Vikings here against the winless Seattle Seahawks. I don't know what's been going on with Seattle, why they've been struggling so much this season. But I do know in this offseason, Seattle ended up making one of the blockbuster trades. They end up sending DK Metcalf to Dallas in exchange for Ezekiel Elliott. So... See how I, maybe that's the, maybe that's the reason why they're winless right now. Um, maybe they shouldn't have got rid of DK. Anyway, second and ten in the Wildcat formation with Dal Dalvin Cook. Uh, Going to run the power off the right side. Dalvin Cook's able to get past Bobby Wagner, tiptoe up the sideline, picks up the first down, goes out of bounds at the 41 yard line. Coming right back at with the Wildcat and. Yeah, I just didn't like the uh, setup there. End up burning our first timeout early to call a different play. And it was a timeout well spent. We end up taking the deep shot to Tajay Sharp. And he gets the beautiful, oh my gosh, let, let's see the replay for that. Beautiful one-handed grab over Trey Flowers. Just completely mosses him and finds his way into the end zone. Tajay Sharp has really taken a backseat uh, in this year two. Uh, like I've mentioned before, season one, Tajay Sharp was like a go-to guy for us. Season two, we wanted uh, Justin Jefferson to be that guy for us, so Tajay Sharp is kind of taking a backseat to JJ. First and ten, uh, Russell Wilson and his company's first possession. He ends up running the screen pass to Ezekiel Elliott. Ends up getting, uh, getting a beautiful gain of yards up to the 42-yard line. Lyman down with an injury. Uh, first and 10 from the uh, 42, they hand the ball to Zeke, and he ends up getting stopped for a gain of two. Second and eight, keeping the ball in Ezekiel Elliott's hands, and Zeke is coming up big for this Seattle offense so far. Maybe they're uh, finally starting to click. Look, at, uh, Like I mentioned before, they're in hopes for their first win. First and 10 from the 47-yard line, still keeping them with the same game plan, uh, kicking the ball to Zeke, and... Yeah, he ended up losing yards on that play, but that that juke ended up saving him. He ended up getting like four yards on that juke, so lucky for him. What's unlucky, on second and 13, Russell Wilson throwing it, trying to fire it to Tyler Lockett, it looks like. Eric Kendricks was there the whole time. I don't know what he thought he saw, but there was a guy with an X on it, and yeah, he's not on your team. First and 10, after the turnover, Kirk Cousins taking a deep shot uh, up the sideline to Dalvin Cook. Gets the gain all the way up to the 37-yard line. First and 10 still throwing with Kirk Cousins looking for a man open. Ends up finding Tajay Sharp again. Tajay Sharp, like I said, he's had, he's been quiet all year because we forced him to take a back seat. And he's still showing us, like, hey, I can still do stuff out here. Throw me the ball. Yeah, you just couldn't do anything week six against the Buccaneers when, when we really needed you on that for, uh, fourth down conversion. Second and four running the jet sweep with Justin Jefferson. He's able to get the edge. Tries to make Shaquille Griffin miss. Beautiful open field tackle by Shaquille, and then Bobby Wagner comes in with the cleanup. Stops us for uh, at a third and two. Cousins throwing to Justin Jefferson, and Justin Jefferson just scoots past every defender because they try to strip him on the drag, and is into the end zone for his ninth touchdown of the year. Uh, so things are going all going so good, uh, good, good right now. Um, offense is scoring the ball, defense is coming over with the stops that we need. Uh, Eric Kendricks is lit up, so what more can I ask for? First and 10, they hand the ball off to Ezekiel Elliott again. Gets a gain of 8 yards, uh, giving the Seahawks a second and 2 situation. Right back to Ezekiel Elliott again. Uh, this game plan for the the Seahawks, is I'm starting to figure things out. Everything they do just goes through Ezekiel Elliott. So if, I, I'm starting to think if we end up stopping Zeke, we, we win this game. Uh, 
someone's probably sitting there thinking like obviously third and two Russell Wilson trying to complete the drag route is broken up by Gladney fourth and two the Seahawks feel, feel they need to go for it they're going to go from it for the for, on the thir, uh, 40, 33 yard line hand the ball to Zeke Elliott you got to figure that they were going to, going with the handoff to Zeke I just unfortunately was not in the right area didn't run commit or anything picks up the first down first and 10 from the 49 yard line right back to Zeke again and we're starting to we're starting to get a uh, get a uh, hone in on Zeke a little bit. Uh, seven carries for 25 yards. It's a decent a decent start to the game, but uh, as you see, we're starting to limit him on his yard. His last, first carry get, gave him four yards. Came back on the next one. He only uh, got one yard. Russell Wilson going to hit Zeke out of the backfield on the angle route, which always kills me. Picks up the first down and first and ten, running again with Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, Harrison Smith. Pops him at the what the 24 yard line. Zeke fumbles it, and Eric Kendricks re uh, recovers, and we're right back on the field. Uh, defense is coming up big in this game already so far. Two turnovers. See if we can put put points up on the board again with this one. First and ten, we try to take the shot to, to uh, Justin Jefferson. Kirk Cousins was hit as he threw. Uh, tried to throw the ball. Uh, Justin Jefferson still almost caught that one. Second and ten. Luckily, that pass is intercepted. Kirk Cousins getting a little bit wild on his passes. Need to uh, need to tone it down a little bit, Kirk. Tone it down. Third and ten. However, taking a deep shot and a double coverage ends up finding his man Dalvin Cook for a first down gain up to the 50 yard line. Um, very lucky catch. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Very lucky catch. Second and uh, on second and nine. Kirk Cousins back in the shotgun. Go look to throw the ball. Looking for his guy, Adam Thielen. We haven't called his name uh, at all. Early, normally early we throw the ball to Adam Thielen, but Tajay Sharp has been the go-to guy so far. Nice to see Thielen getting his first catch of the game. First and 10. Um, Kirk Cousins with a risky throw. Wanting to get that touchdown to Jeff Je uh, Justin Jefferson. Threw it in like quadruple coverage. Luckily that ball wasn't intercepted. Second and the 10, however, Kirk Cousins taking a shot back to his guy, Adam Thielen, makes a beautiful catch at the one, is able to spin and fall, and ends up hitting the pylon in for the, into the end zone for the touchdown. 21-point lead in the first half. I'm starting to feel myself right here. The defense can start to play a little bit wild now. Probably going to see a lot more blitzes out of us, running a lot more man coverage and offense. Um, just don't turn the ball over. That's all, that's all I need to do on offense. Just don't turn the ball over. Oh, my gosh. See what I'm talking about? We're starting to figure things out. Shutting down Zeke for on the first down for only gaining three yards. This time he comes back and says, Eric Kendricks, you're not hitting me like that again. Shoves him aside. Ends up picking up an, uh, an additional four yards. Third and three. Uh, Russell Wilson ends up finding his tight end. Mark Andrews underneath. Trucks over a Vikings defender and picks up the first down, keeping the six moving. Uh, first and ten from the – or second and six from the 50-yard line. Russell Wilson's going to drop back to throw. Looking for – Ooh, Mark Andrews again he makes the catch, but takes a shot from Anthony Harris. Somehow holds onto the ball, uh, brings up a third in inches. And you know they're going to hand the ball to Ezekiel Elliott. He's able to fall forward for the first down. All right, now we got to start stopping him. We got to start blitzing a little bit more. Send the blitz. Harrison Smith is able to come off the edge, stop Ezekiel Elliott behind the line for a loss of four yards. Second and 14 from the 45 yard line. Russell sending uh, Zeke off, off in motion to the right. Montez Sweat came off the edge, and Russell Wilson was somehow able to get uh, get rid of that ball. Still able to throw an accurate pass to Tyler Lockett, and come back on third down, complete the ball a pass to Mark Andrews for another Seahawks first down. First and ten from the 29 yard line, dangerous throw there by Russell Wilson. Gladney in the area, able to break up that pass. Second and ten from the 29 yard line, Russell Wilson is going to drop back to throw and ends up finding who's that? Corey Davis across the middle. Like I said, these Seahawks have made some trades. I, I mean, some trades that I wouldn't have made. I definitely wouldn't have traded away DK Metcalf, especially for a running back. You could find a running back in the draft, or there's pr uh, pr plenty of decent running backs you could use in, um, what's it called, uh, free agency. Anyways, fourth and four, Russell ends up getting the conversion to Mark Andrews. Thought we had the interception there with Eric Kendricks, but it's all good on first and goal from the nine. We got the interception with Anthony Harris. Red. Russell Wilson like a book. First and ten from the three. Why are we in Wildcat? What am I doing? <sighs> See, this is why I can't have leads. I do stupid stuff. Whenever I start to get a comfortable lead, I just start to say, hey, let me do something I, I never normally do. When have you ever seen me run Wildcat from the three-yard line? I had the hole up the middle. I don't know why I try to take it wide, but I, I, I can't play with leads, obviously. Uh, first and ten pass uh, incomplete. Russell Wilson looking like he's trying to target Ma Mark Andrews again. Throwing off his back foot. 
Luckily, that ball wasn't intercepted. Anthony Harris should have had a second, and if he didn't have it, uh, Eric Kendrick should have had the interception. Third and ten, Russell's hit by Montez Sweat trying to set up the screen pass. We read it perfectly, kind of uh, end up throwing him off, try to make him go for somewhere else. Ends up getting hit as he's thrown, and the ball falls incomplete. Brings up a Seattle punt. Decent return there by, who is that, Dan Dantel? I don't know who our kick return or punt returner is. Uh, first and ten from the 19-yard line. 50 seconds left in the first half. Kirk Cousins back to throw. X is open. X is open. I... It's, I don't know what I thought I saw or what I was looking at. I get, I'm just going to say I was trying to take a deep shot. I don't know why. That's another thing. Like, whenever I get a lead, I start running plays that I don't normally run. Uh, we get back to what we normally run on second and 20, though. End up picking up a huge chunk of yards thanks to Adam Thielen. And he's blinking now. First uh, first and 10 from the 37-yard line. Taking a deep shot. One-on-one -on -one coverage. And what? He's blinking. He's got double me. He's not doubled. He's supposed to straight moss him. That's supposed to be straight nuts on the on this dude's back. He's supposed to come away with that catch. Then second and ten, we try to take another shot just to Adam Thielen, even though he's we know he's not blinking this time. It's like we got to get the catch. But we end up throwing the interception with Kirk Cousins to Shaquille Griffin. Uh, Shaquille Griffin uh, definitely didn't want to ha want that to happen. Uh, Seahawks with the chance for points. Russell Wilson scrambles up to the 35-yard line. I don't know what my opponent was thinking. He just sat there and let the clock drip away. And, okay, um, my mistake ended up coming away with or ended up resulting in no points for Seattle. So, I mean, it's kind of bittersweet. It's good that we they, we didn't give up points, but we clearly had points. Like We clearly had points on that drive, and we just threw it away just because I was pissed off that Adam Thielen didn't get the animation with double me. Uh, first and 10, Russell Wilson with a quick throw to his tight end. That's broken up by Eric Kendricks. Uh, second and 10 coming back to throw again. Ends up finding Mark Andrews again. And Mark Andrews falls forward again for another Seattle first down. First and 10 handing the ball off to Ezekiel Elliott. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Only get, gets a gain of, yard, uh, gain of two yards on that play. Right back to him again. And same result. Ezekiel Elliott has been stopped up. This time only for a gain of one. Third and seven here. Uh... Seattle down big, end up taking a deep shot into beautiful throw, beautiful throw there by Russell Wilson in between four defenders. I thought that was going to be another interception with Eric Kendricks because that was like the same type of setup and situation, but beautiful throw by him. First and ten, he ends up finding his guy Tyler Locker who races his way down to the nine yard line, trying to hand the ball to Ezekiel Elliott and he stopped for a gain of one yard. Second and goal from the eight. Russell Wilson back to throw, ends up connecting with Corey Davis who takes a shot in the end zone from Eric Kendricks but holds onto the ball. And the Seattle Seahawks are on the board with their first touchdown of the game here uh, coming here in the third quarter. Um, definitely need to get back to basics here on offense. Um, no more running wild plays. No more running plays that I don't normally run or have never really ran before. Uh, just get points up on the board. Make sure that this game is out of reach for Seattle. Get back to Dalvin Cook. Giving him the ball, uh, carry on first down. Picks up six yards. Coming back on second down. Giving the ball right back to him this time in the screen pass. Picks up the first down. Is forced out of bounds. Uh, at the 40-yard line. First and 10 from the 40-yard line. Got Alexander Madison in there for his first carry of the day. Gets a nice gain of 13 yards. First time touching the ball. Gets uh, gets stopped at the 46-yard line. Kirk Cousins back to throw it on first down. Looking to take a deep shot right away. Hoping for another miracle catch from Tajay Sharp. But this time, that ball falls incomplete. Tajay Sharp just unable to make the one-handed grab this time. He went for it. He, he Did you see? He tried to go for another one-handed grab. It just didn't work out. Uh, first and 10 after the Dalvin Cook run for 12 yards. Kirk Cousins back to throw yet again, looking for something deep. Sees nothing, tries to check it down to Dalvin Cook. Just the defense converge on Dalvin Cook right as he's trying to catch, make that catch. Beautiful pass break up. Second and 10, we try to get, uh, hand the ball off to Dalvin. Makes the guy miss, gains five yards. Brings up a, a third and five from the 30-yard line. We're already in scoring position. Don't need to take any stu uh, stupid passes. But Kirk Cousins taking a deep shot right away to the end zone on third and five. And finds his guy Adam Thielen. It, they call this a catch? They, uh, I, you know Matt is going to review this. Wait, just wait for it. Just wait for it. And this and this it's gonna stand. It's a catch. Beautiful throw there by Adam Thielen. Or not by Adam. Beautiful catch by Adam Thielen. Amazing throw by Kirk Cousins. Possibly a candidate for throw of the year right there. That was just a beautiful dive. And the end zone. Very dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Spe speaking of dangerous, I don't know why my opponent decided to fair catch the ball at the five yard line. Um Hand the ball off to Zeke, and he ends up losing a yard. Come back and try to make a pass across the middle. Receiver is just too scared to catch that ball. I wouldn't blame him because uh, Harrison Smith is out there patrolling the middle. Ends up dropping the ball. 
Russell Wilson tries to connect with his guy, Tyler Lockett, who's just unable to make the catch in traffic. Brings up a 4th and 11. Punt from the end zone is blocked, and Cole is able to recover the fumble. Well, the block punt is technically a fumble in the end zone for another Vikings touchdown. 35-9 to lead. Vikings are definitely running away with it. You know it's bad when the defense starts to score. Oh, my gosh. And even you really know it's bad when the kickoff team is scoring. Harrison Smith with a huge hit on the return, man. Ends up fumbling the ball. This is why I say you don't you shouldn't run return kicks at all. If it goes in the end zone, then just uh take take a knee. If it comes out or if it's not in uh, in the end zone, just don't do all that juking. Like you, especially against this Vikings team, you don't want to juke against us on the kickoff return. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott getting another carry. We've boxed him up now. Zeke is at 19 carries for 50 yards. Last couple carries that Zeke's uh, had, he's only gained about one, maybe two yards here and there. Second and eight, they handed it off to him. Zeke's able to pick up a gain of six yards. Third quarter is coming down to the end here. Uh, they're going to hand the ball off to Zeke, and Daniil Hunter is able to knife his way through to stop him in the backfield. And that's how the third quarter is going to end. Starting the fourth quarter with the fourth and three. Seattle's going to go for it. Russell Wilson scrambling, breaks a sack, and he's taking off. Uh, Montez Sweat is fast, but he's not fast enough to keep up with uh with Russell Wilson out of the pocket, ends up gaining the, about damn near 40 yards on the scramble. Uh, first and 10 from the 26-yard line, ends up connecting with his uh, receiver, Tyler Lockett, for a gain of 10, bringing up a second to inches. Hand the ball off to Zeke again, and we're stopping him. We're, we're not letting Zeke run wild anymore. He, it's done. Third and one from the 17-yard line, Russell Wilson back to throw, ends up connecting t with uh, Will Disley, who makes the catch in traffic, holds on to the ball. Gets the game down to the 10-yard line. First and 10 from the 10-yard line. Should be first and goal. Uh, but Seattle ends up taking a uh, delay of the game. We're going, we're, we'll be nice. We, we, we won't accept that one. Uh, first and 10, they hand it off to Zeke. And he stopped for a gain of two yards. Uh, fourth quarter, three minutes left. Trying to take a shot to the end zone. And that's almost intercepted by Eric Kendricks, who should have had that, that pick. This is the second one that he's dropped. Um, third and eight, taking a shot to the end zone again. Ends up finding his man Tyler Lockett in the corner of the end zone for the second touchdown of the day for the Seattle Seahawks. The ensuing kickoff, I don't know what happened. I think he's having Wi-Fi issues, connection issues, something. That ball goes out of bounds. Uh, we're going to start with the Wildcat from the 43-yard line, only gaining two yards or losing two yards there. Second and 12. We're just trying to run the clock out here. Um, and we're not really – I don't want to lose yards, but we are losing yards. Third and 15 from the 38-yard line, going back to old reliable here. Try to see if we can find a way to hit Adam Thielen. Seattle has it locked up here. We're just going to go ahead and take the safe throw out of bounds and just go ahead and punt the ball. So, sucks that we had to punt the ball, but, I mean, it's our first punt coming in in the fourth quarter. We have a 42-16 to lead over, over the Seattle Seahawks. This game is pretty much well in hand. Um, just don't want to do anything stupid like, you know, throw pick sixes and everything else or give them amazing field position. Then they could start some kind of a miracle fourth quarter comeback. But with two minutes left here in the fourth quarter, that's pretty much a afterthought. That's not going to happen at all. Uh, Russell Wilson ends up finding Will Disley across the middle, ends up picking up the first down. But there is a penalty on the play holding on the Seattle. We'll go ahead and accept that. You, yeah, we'll accept that. Second and 12. Taking a shot, uh, t uh, taking a shot across the middle. Hit as he thrown. That ball falls incomplete. Anthony Barr should have had an interception, but we won't talk about that. It's third and twelve. Ezekiel Elliott should have caught that ball. We'll talk about that. Zeke's just been having a rough day uh, ever since the second half is hit. Uh, hasn't been able to get much going in the running game, and the passing game has really fallen off. Fourth and twelve. Trying something new there. Horrible decision there. Had uh, Tyler. Or, Tyler Lockett was being covered by Eric Kendricks. That is a mismatch from hell. Uh, Russell Wilson ends up seeing that, makes the smart read to Lockett, picks up the first down. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Game's pretty much over at this point. Could have been ended with the interception there by Holton Hill, but Mr. Butterfing is over here. Second and 10, Russell Wilson taking a deep shot to the end zone. Ends up finding, I don't know who that is, but it was a blown coverage by um, either Cole or... Harrison Smith, one of those two guys. Someone in them had him like just completely left their zone and just let this guy run wide open up the scene. So 42 to 23, trying to get, get a little creative here, see if we can make something, some kind of magic happen on the kickoff return. But only thing we may happen was C.J. Ham hold someone. How? Why are you holding on a kickoff return? I don't know. I don't understand. Everybody's in front of you. Just run through them. 
First and 10, we hand the ball off to Dalvin Cook just to go ahead and get things o over and out the way. And that's going to do it. Seattle ends up dropping again, so they'll have to wait another week to see if they can end up winning their first game. Uh, however, our Minnesota Vikings will move on to 7-1 and one on the season. Uh, next matchup, I can't remember. I think we play the Rams next. So leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any other f uh, of the future videos we have coming. Leave a comment down below. I enjoy reading all the comments, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later. So for the Vikings, the win here means it'll be a 7-1 first half of the season. And they'll return home next week to take on the L.A. Rams. Meanwhile, for Seattle...